Drunk on Broad. What's up, boys? It's Travis from Losing Sucks Fantasy Football Podcast. Week 10 is here, nine weeks in the books, bringing you a little bit of fantasy impact and implications from what we just saw. Starting at the top, Austin Eckler, 26.1 points per game over the last five weeks. My God. CMC is the only player, position player, that I would take over Austin Eckler at this point. For the rest of the season, number two, Amonra St. Brown has not been producing, but the volume is there. Trust the volume. This is a common theme of losing sucks philosophy. Where there is volume, there will be points. You have to be patient. He is still a buy low candidate. Once he has that 25, 30 point week that will be coming, that buy window is closed. So hang on if you have him. Keep trying to buy him if you can. TJ Hawkinson debuts for the Minnesota Vikings and looks great. Double-digit targets. It's it's always good when TJ Hawkinson is rolling. Fantasy football, he's been a darling of everybody's for a long time. Um, He has our tight end five the rest of the season. You've got Kelsey, Andrews, Goddard, um, and George Kittle. Those are the only four guys that I think I would take over Hawkinson right now. Uh, which is a big jump. It's it's a confidence level jump for Hawkinson. The volume is going to continue to be good. Kirk Cousins loves the tight end. They've been trying to find somebody that can fit that role for a while now. Hawkinson seems to be the guy. Joe Mixon goes absolutely bonkers for a top 20 fantasy performance of all time. I hope you were on the right side of that. If you were not, you probably lost. But yeah, much like Amon Ross St. Brown, we emphasized over the last three weeks about Joe Mixon. Constantly follow the volume. Finally, the big payoff, top three in NFL and touches before last week. He remains there. Don't sell just because he had a big day. A lot of people want to say, you know, this is peak value. Let's move him. Don't You don't need to do that. This is somebody that you want on your team down the stretch and in the playoffs. He's going to continue to produce. Not at that level, obviously, but he'll be a top 10 guy week in and week out. The Las Vegas Raiders got up 17 on Jacksonville and still found a way to lose. Travis Etienne is that dude. With 100 yards and two touchdowns, he looks like he's playing at a different speed than everybody else on the field. And it it took a little while to get going, but my God, is he fun to watch. Devontae Adams with a big day. Everyone else on that offense was pretty mediocre. I don't know what's going on in Vegas. They can't seem to find a way to win, even when it looks like they were gifted a win. You would say after a quarter and a half, this one's over, but... They do not have that that killer instinct, whatever it, whatever you want to call it, to finish games. They don't have it. Kyler Murray remains incredibly frustrating to watch, but he is still QB6 on the season. If you have Kyler Murray, just close your eyes or watch a different football game until his is over, and you'll probably be fine with the points that he gives you. We're still waiting on that 30-point day from him. It's got to come at some point. That's what he does, but it's it, you just can't watch it. You really can't. Um, finally, last two things. What did we learn? First, we learned that Cordero Patterson is still legit. Let's discuss Patterson points per game, 14.9 on the season. Damian Pierce, 14 miles Sanders, 13.9 Leonard Fournette, 13.7. That's the group of guys that his name should be with. He continually gets disrespected. I don't know why we have finally come around to say, put some respect on his name. He is who he is and it's not going away. So for those for that group, we've got Damian Pierce first, Patterson second, Miles Sanders third, and Leonard Fournette fourth in that group, at least for the rest of the season. Put some respect on Patterson's name. Finally, Alan Lazard is and will be the number one receiver in Green Bay with Romeo Dobbs getting hurt and Lazard continuing to be consistent. Um, I don't know if you can buy him for cheap, but I think he's worth whatever fair price you would pay if you're if you're deep enough at at running back Lazard is a great guy that you're going to want down the stretch Um, 12.5 points per game in comparison to some bigger names that people for whatever reason like more than Lazard Olave 11.9 Ayuk 11.5 Pittman 10.8 he's been better than those guys we expect him to continue to be better than those guys that'll do it for the rundown week 10 is coming good luck Um, As always, you can DM us any kind of questions that you have. If you just want to talk fantasy football, maybe talk some trades before the deadline, we're here for you. Thanks for having us on. Drunk on Broad, uh, Broad, go Birds, stay undefeated.